Hey minions, welcome to Crank It Up. I'm Jim Price, and on this episode of Action Awareness, I want to talk about reversal of the Luka Doors. For the month of February, we're going to be previewing all aspects of World Tour International Incident, and I'm really looking forward to talking about the new factions. The Luka Doors strategy is focused on playing actions on other players' minions, particularly setup cards, and Reversal is one of the few cards that specifically calls out setup cards. Reversal is a Phase 3 special that can be played when you are not winning on a base as it scores. You may take control of a minion there with a setup action on it until the end of the turn. You can destroy any number of your actions on that minion. This card is incredibly powerful and it is something that opponents should anticipate at all times. Note that there is no power cap on the minion that you steal, which differentiates it from other cards like the base is not enough. Unlike control minion, this is something played in phase 3, and it allows you to take control of a minion with all of its counters and actions buffing it up. The only requirement is a setup card, and that you have to be losing. You can't use reversal to take away a lone minion on the base to score it solo, though if you store a singularly powerful minion, you could theoretically win a base by yourself, and this happens more than you realize. In fact, you should be planning for it. Despite its necessary limitations, Reversal lends itself to several great plays. It could be used as a special on your opponent's turns, but I think it is far more interesting as a special on your turn, where you close a base you are losing, but use the opportunity to overcome your opponent later in the same turn. Reversal requires a setup card, and the two that stand out for this type of play are Quick Setup and Powerful Setup. Quick Setup is unique in that it is a play on minion action that provides only on play benefits, in this case an extra action. Cheap Pop is a great candidate as it will add an easy 4 power which goes a long way. With a minion play like Flor Loca, you can use her power boost for a total of 9 power. This is hopefully enough to cause the base to break, with the power you get from swinging a minion more than enough to compensate for Flor Loca's loss of power. Depending on the situation, Powerful Setup is also a great choice because it provides power to all of your minions, which can inch towards the breakpoint. When Reversal takes control, your new minion will also get that power, which is only one power, but every bit matters on closely contested bases. But it's the last clause of Reversal that is the most interesting. Destroy any number of your actions on that minion. This is optional, you don't have to destroy any, so if Daisy Chain were on the minion, you can elect to keep that plus 2 power that was previously negative. But this combines extremely well with Pin, which cancels all power supplied to a base from that minion. What this does is force a player to overspend on resources, committing more to the base to make up for the Pin minion. But when Reversal is played, Pin can get destroyed, and that power is now yours. This is different from just swinging a minion, because a player had to use more resources. It requires more precision, but getting your opponent to use more cards is well worth the effort, considering Pin also shuts down abilities, not just power. Because of its potential, Reversal needs to be feared, and players who know about it do fear it. It requires opponents to play extremely defensively. If you can't play setup cards, then Reversal cannot be played. Setup actions become primary targets for destruction. Players become wary of playing minions on specific bases, because they don't want to make themselves set up targets. One of my favorite ways to combat this is with Lightning Rescue. Lightning Rescue can play Quick Setup, which can immediately lead into Reversal. This is great because players have no indication that a Reversal play is coming because it is done completely in Phase 3. It takes 3 cards, but the surprise factor is worth it. The Lucadors also have Action Recursion, so you can use your yellow demons to pull setup cards from the discard pile separately to avoid diluting your deck again. Reversal may be only one card, but you can absolutely build a strategy around it. The Lucadors can easily build a strategy around phase 3 entirely, and you can legitimately play a game focused on stealing bases. Reversal's only distinction is that you cannot be winning. Note that Kappa Roja, who can greatly alter a base, has to fire first, and you may already be winning, making reversal unnecessary. However, if you intentionally have lower power, you can use Kappa Roja to eliminate the smaller minion while using reversal to swing the main minion. Alternatively, a hidden ninja tiger assassin or ninja master can also provide a final touch. Again, because of the Lucador action recursion, I don't mind using excessive actions here. 
When you have a chance to score a base by yourself and recover from it, you take that chance. Reversal allows you to focus primarily on a completely separate base because of the potential to steal one on which you are barely competing. And this isn't exactly telegraphed because there are other outcomes for your setup actions. You can pin a minion just to give yourself a chance to win the base normally. You have two copies of pin after all. You can use out for the count to destroy the minion. This is particularly useful if you expect that the setup will be disenchanted later. Sometimes I just want the minion set up so that I have the extra power for Floor Loca. The tension from reversal comes from never knowing if a player has it, and when you can obscure whether or not you'd even want to use it, it creates more tension for your opponents. Reversal is undoubtedly powerful and a card you'll want driving your strategy. There aren't many cards that only take effect when you are not winning, so it's important to understand how to use reversal to your advantage. It is possible to steal a base, and steal it entirely, with proper planning. Don't let the setup requirement dissuade you from this card's potential. There are three setups, and many ways to retrieve them, and there are enough ways to play a setup card to ensure that reversal will happen. Normally, these types of powerful tension cards are something you wouldn't want to scry for because it lets your opponent know you have it, but the Lucadors have enough means to claw back on their turn that it may not even matter. What do you think of this card? Are you excited for the Lucadors? Let me know in the comments. That's it for this week. Thanks for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's shut it down.